Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well, we had a great question uh, from Eric, and it was: Is it possible to have uh, the image aspect of a blurb module expand in a light box? Well, the short answer is no, but there is a workaround, and I'll show you how to do it. So we've got. Uh, two sort of blurb modules here. Here's a regular one on the right hand side. Obviously nothing you can do with the image. You could probably add some CSS and make it grow. That would be a little clumsy. But I've got a workaround here. There we go. There's your image popping out in a light box. And I'm kind of cheating a little bit, but it's really easy to do. So what we'll do, we'll start again from scratch. Let's enable the Visual Builder. And I'll add a new row, put two modules in there, or however many you want, obviously. I'm going to put a blurb module in here. Won't spend any time on it, let's just put an image in there. Use a different one this time, let's use that one. Okay. So there's a regular blurb module and there really is no option to make the image pop out into a light box on its own, at least that I know. You could do it with a bit of scripting, but that's going to be a little complex. So my workaround is this. Let's go over to our next column. We'll add the same blurb module. And this time, image and icon. Just delete the image. Let's go over here. We'll add a new module. Like I say, it's kind of cheating, but it does work. We'll go down and find just a regular image module. There we go. We'll add that same image. For the link, we just need a drop down open in light box. We're still under content in the image link open in light, light box. There we go. And let's simply just pull this blurb module down below it. Now to all intents and purposes those are identical but well, let me do it. I, will it? No. Nope. Let's save it. Won't let me pop it out while we're in the builder. As you can see, they're identical. And that one pops out into a light image. Now, if you're styling your modules, you're going to have to do a little bit of extra work if you've got cost, custom styles on your blurbs, something like that below. So let's go back in. And we'll go down. And let's style these now. I'll go back into this regular blurb module on the left hand side here. Let's give it a colored background. Let's just give it a blue background. Of course, get this out of the way so we can see. I want to go to my design. Make our text light so we can see it. And let's give it a bit of spacing all around. So we'll go padding. I'm in design, down to spacing, padding. Let's give it 30 pixels all around. Just put in the 30, it'll put in the pics for you. If you hit the chain, it'll do the opposite side view. Okay, so we've now got something that looks like this, which is fairly ugly with that image, but you'll get the point. Now to do the similar thing with this one here, we've got to get a little bit creative. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the image. Now we gave this 30 all round, so I need to go to the design and the spacing. I'm going to give it 30 on everything except the top. I mean except the bottom, I'm sorry. So we'll give it 30 on the top. We'll give it 30 right and 30 left. Okay. Now let's go into our little module here and we'll do a similar thing but we'll give it 
padding everywhere except the top on this one. So over to design, spacing. Let's move this out of the way so you can see. So I'm going to leave the top blank this time. 30 on the bottom, 30 left, and 30 right. Okay, so it's the right shape now, but we want to want it to have the same background as we do here. We could put in a background color for each of these, but you'd find there's a gap in there where the gutter is. So the workaround for this is to go into the row. We've got a row here. It's got two columns. If we go into the row, the green tab, we're working on column two. We'll simply go into column two, hit the background color, give it that blue color. And of course, I forgot to make our text light in this module. Simply go back into the module, design tab, text, light. Or of course, you can do, do the text separately, title text and body text, however you want. So to all intents and purposes, that is, is what you're looking for there. Let's just check it on responsive. There's our top one. There's our bottom one. Again, they look pretty much identical to me. And same on mobile. So there you go. Like I say, the answer, Eric, is no, you can't do that with a blurb image, but it's pretty easy to work around it. So let's go back, save our changes, make sure everything's going to work. Save draft or publish if you're ready. And exit our visual builder. And I notice they got a little slide in effect on those. You can put your own effects in however you want. So here's our cheating one here. Here's our regular one. As you see, no light box pop up. Here's the one with the light box pop up. So there you go. I hope that's uh, answered your question. Really easy workaround. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, comment, ring the bell, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.